Well, you're absolutely right. And part of it is uh, that once the death occurs and all the deaths in which police, a uh, 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 death occurs during police activity uh, does get it locally investigated. You know, they, they have a, a local police internal affairs investigation. The, the great majority of them come up a year or two later saying that we found no uh, deviation from proper policy uh, procedures. <clears throat> Some of them, we had another case in uh, Rochester, uh, Prude, P-R-U-D-E. He was uh, a black man uh, visiting his brother from out of town. Uh, mental illness, as often these people have some kind of mental illness, was off his medication, uh, went to the hospital, local hospital, uh, examined and discharged. Then the na within, I think, a day or so, was found running around nude in the street, nude in the street. The uh, the um, uh, uh, police are called, and immediately the, the EMT comes and says it's excited delirium. Uh, an autopsy is done, and the medical examiner, because uh, he's he they, 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 he's uh, seen by many, and, and the videos taken show him nude. He doesn't have any weapon, being subdued by subdued by police. A spit mask uh, being put over his head, which can prevent yeah. breathing. I remember this case. Yeah, and and uh, it was obviously, uh, and the medical examiner there said it was a homicide caused by police activity. This then went to the attorney general's office. The attorney general's office was uh, laws were passed in New York that all deaths uh, of, of police during uh, uh, police encounters with unarmed people who don't have guns or weapons or anything should go to the attorney general's. So the attorney general in New York and this just then has a grand jury to which. Is invited the person of some uh, there's a group in San Diego in California that say that people can't possibly die from asphyxia uh, or during police encounters. Who comes and talks to the grand jury? The grand jury uh, votes a no bill. That's the end of the case. You know they went into the grand jury and and uh, the grand jury found that there was no poli no police officer did anything wrong. The the, the um, government set, settled with a lawsuit. That their civil suit comes up now in some of these cases and which they got uh, awarded $12 million to the family, but the police offered that, that didn't come out of the, the pockets of the police officers. And um, it, it, clearly they were killed. He died because he was killed by police activity. Nobody gets punished. Even Eric Garner, who, the videotape uh, that shows him, uh, him being taken down. Correct. Uh, and, and dying within 45 seconds. You know, if you cut off blood supply, to the neck or inability to breathe, uh, death will occur within uh, a minute or two. Often, Eric Garner, you, 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 we have on the on the internet had the video of, taken by a neighbor showing from the first time the uh, uh, he was touched by the police officer and then taken to the ground um, uh, till the t <clears throat> till the police got off because he was not breathing and it was forty five seconds. Uh, this can happen very quickly, and um, uh, he. Uh, the, the, whatever happened with the police investigation and the federal government was investigating the, the, the Justice Department, they nothing happened for five years till the statute of limitations ran out. Uh, and the federal government decided they, were, they, they weren't going to uh, process, uh, uh, take any action. And the police, in the New York City police said, well, we, we had to wait for the federal government to decide what to do. And by now, the statute of limitations is over. So I think he was fired five years later. Uh, the, 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 the officer who was captured on the video with his arm around his neck and, uh, and the other, I think the only persons who, uh, who um, didn't, uh, who got punished was some EMT person for not uh, doing CPR right away. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.